Flavors of the West Coast is a TV show that pairs a rookie chef with a professional chef, and together they create something magical in the kitchen using local food. Yeah. Lindsay from Cedarwood Productions, you now have a Flavors of the West Coast cookbook. Tell us about this new cookbook. Um, I believe this cookbook came around because as we went around BC for Flavors of the West Coast, visiting all the best local chefs and food makers yes. and farmers, all of them asked for a book. And to prove it, I'm going to make a recipe from the book. It was written by Dan Hayes, the London chef. And I'm gonna go up against Salty Andrew, who's not only a trained chef, but the founder of Vancouver Island Salt. I haven't been in a real kitchen in about five years. I was terrified today to go into the kitchen with two trained chefs and actually have to cut things and break eggs. But once I got going, it reminded me that all you need to be a good cook little mojo. Have you made mayonnaise before? Never. Have you made mayonnaise before? Oh, I have. Absolutely, of course. So we need to begin with egg yolks. What we should do is crack about four, maybe five egg yolks into our container there. This is how I do it. I'm like, oh, oh. I'm already, I'm already failing. Okay, okay, that's it. Minus, so far you're minus one point. Andrew's positive five points. You know, mayonnaise out of a jar is, is, is something that's, you know, okay to sort of, yeah. you know, make a ham sandwich a bit more interesting at two in the morning, but it's not really mayonnaise. Okay. So this is, going to be, this is going to be real mayonnaise. So grab a bit of white wine vinegar, okay. a sort of squirt of white wine vinegar. Lovely. Very good. Professionally done. And now, of course, we need salt. Right. Look at this. He brought his own. Is that cheating? Is that allowed? <laughs> oh, I didn't think Karen would see. Uh... <laughs> Actually, no, no, we should, we should use this. I brought some special fleur de sel, the finest of the Canadian salt crystals. The caviar of salt. Now, we're using canola oil because okay. we want it to be neutral. Stick that thing in, okay. press the button, yep. and then just keep pressing it, just like continuously, and then start pouring some oil in slowly. Ooh, slower, slower, slower. Okay. Look at that, we have mayonnaise. There's mayonnaise. And he's going to do better than me. It's perfect. Yeah. I think Andrew's showing off. But uh, for the record, I'm very impressed with your mayonnaise. Right Thank there. you. I think it's very pretty. Now, what we're going to do is add a good dollop of English mustard. English mustard, okay. English mustard. So, so what's the difference between English mustard and regular mustard? English mustard is very strong. Now, pickles. Pickles. And I think a tartar sauce should be chunky. Okay. So what I tend to do is maybe cut that into quarters lengthwise and then cut it again. Okay. So you end up with something relatively chunky. I was totally nervous I was going to cut my finger. I was like, because what a disaster. Oh, Mr. Train Chef, you come down and you lop your finger off. Here now some capers. We're just going to put a little handful of capers. Just squeeze them out. Okay. And then we want some parsley. Okay. And just chop that up and pop that in. Very nice. <laughs> D, you have this beautiful sauce. We have our tartar sauce. Now we need to make the fish. Dan preps it for us. Cut these eggs a little bit. And then we dredge it in flour, egg, and panko breadcrumbs. Yeah, well, I felt like I won the egg. Like, I took the early lead, but then Karen with the kung fu grip and the, and the panko breading, I really felt like, you know, you outpaced me, Karen. Flavors of the West Coast, inspired by local food. A rookie chef can create all the recipes in here, and a professional chef, and it's approved by the London Chef. It's a book that you have to get, and of course this recipe will be in it. And now the true test. Andrew, should we should we try it? We should. Cheers, my friend. Thanks for playing with me. Mm. Amazing. It? it is so good. The dog fish is beautiful. So moist. So good. That's good. From London Chef, I'm Karen Algersma. That is so good.